Good day, this is JNN Weekday News. I'm Lafayne Wigan. Here now are the top stories. Angry residents from Lizard Town in West Kingston gathered at the Darling Street Police Station this morning to protest the alleged police killing of 20-year-old Shane Dotlin, otherwise called Fat Man, at the Darling Street Police Station on Sunday. Senior Superintendent of Police Steve McGregor reported that Fatman was arrested for indecent language and possession of marijuana and hanged himself while in police custody with a t-shirt he was wearing when arrested. From the evening that he was arrested, he was offered bail. But from that point, he was not being cooperative. He wasn't given his right name. He wasn't given his right address. A justice was found who knew him. And the justice would have assisted in expediting his bail application, which he didn't cooperate. I understand that he chased away the justice. So hence he was there until the morning. And it is sometime during the day after he was visited before and visited 20 minutes after he was found in the cell. The residents and relatives of Dotlin are claiming that foul play was involved and believe the youth was beaten to death by police. They are angered that they were deterred from viewing the body at the time of death. Them have him in the station. Them are beating him all along. Somebody come here and somebody come tell people about we are six elders that are my family. Them come out now. That are Lilith and the whole of my family them come out at the station. And they say, no dead body were in the station and I come from Lizard Town. So they turned to Lilith and said, we are going over on the yard now. So Lily turned to Miss Lily turned to them and said, I could see the body for our family. Them, no. them said, no, them not show the body. Them drive up in the compound to the, to the station door. And you see when them drive it up to the door, them throw the body in there. You see, after the body gone, them are show me one book. And I say, see the person who dead in here. Is your family this? The police say the Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, is investigating the matter. Registration began today for the new government of Jamaica GOJ Health Cards. The card will primarily facilitate access to health services at public institutions. Citizens will be able to use the card to get drugs at public pharmacies and drugstores by March 3. Health Minister Dr. Fendon Ferguson says registration forms have been made available to all the regional health authorities for distribution to the health centers and hospitals they oversee. Registration will also be facilitated at the Health Ministry's head office in downtown Kingston and the National Health Fund NHF. The public awareness campaign against crocodile meat consumption is being intensified by the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA. The campaign is an effort to discourage the consumption of the animal's meat in Jamaica and will include media features and town meetings to firstly educate the public on facts about crocodiles. NEPA stated in a press release that the crocodile's diet contributes significantly to the reduction of polluted waters as it consumes dying, diseased, and decaying matter from swamps and sewage ponds. As such, the practice of eating crocodile meat poses serious health risks. The campaign will, however, also highlight the economic benefits of preserving the animal for ecotourism activities. The hunting and slaughtering of crocodiles is an offense with a penalty of $100,000 and or prison term of up to two years. In sports, the International Olympic Committee IOC says Sochi 2014 will have the most stringent anti-doping program seen at a Winter Olympics. IOC Communications Director Mark Adams says there will be 2,453 tests carried out in total. The announcement comes three days after Russian biathlete Irina Starik pulled out of the Games after a positive test. Jamaica will be among the countries competing at Sochi 2014. Jamaica will be represented by driver Winston Watt and brakeman Marvin Dixon in the two-man bobsleigh team competition. The Sochi 2014 opening ceremony takes place on Friday, February 7. And those were the headlines for this hour. You can watch our live stream at jamaicanewsnetwork.com. I'm Lafayne Wigan, and this is JNN News Worth Watching.